Assalamu alaikum students. How are you? Welcome to another class of this week. As you know, we have started editing in MS Word. We learned few options and commands in previous lesson. Now, first let's see what is undo command. Undo command is used to reverse the last command. To, to reverse the last command, click undo button on the quick access toolbar. Now, where is the quick access toolbar? It is just right up here. See? Keep your cursor. You can see undo typing. And you can also see there is short key control plus C. As I have written there. Control plus C. This is a short key of undo command. This bar is known as quick access toolbar. Next we have redo command. Redo command is actually called the repeat command. The redo command is used to reverse the undo action. The repeat command changes to redo while doing the redo action. To reverse the undo action, click the redo button on the quick access toolbar. Again, this is the quick access toolbar. Keep your cursor here. You can see there is written repeat your typing. Repeat. Okay. Or redo. Same thing. We have short key for this one. And this also. What is that? Just keep it there. Control plus Y. As I wrote here. Control plus Y. It's a short key of redo. Suppose I'm typing here one word. Like I'm writing here. Salala. Salala. Okay. Now, I just want to undo this one. What should I do? I can use Ctrl Z, the short key also from our keyboard. And also, you can go to this quick access toolbar and click this arrow. Click. See? Whatever I have written here, it's vanished. Finished. This way, you can use your undo command. Right? And if you just want to get it back, the redo option, the repeat option will help you to reverse your undo action, which you have done right now. So just go and practice it again. Going to again this quick access toolbar. Keep your cursor there. Redo typing. Click redo button. And see, it's back now. Okay. So this way you can use undo. Control plus C command and redo or repeat or control plus Y short key. So listen again once more. The redo commands does exactly the opposite of what the undo command does. Okay. Like using undo. Now clicking on redo. So it's just going to repeat opposite of what the undo command does. And the undo command will clear or delete the text which you don't want. You just want to reverse your action. Just click undo and it's finished this way. Fine. Now moving to the next option. Here. You can see it's quick access toolbar. Quick access toolbar. We have three options there. One, save. This is icon for save. Okay. And it's short key for save. This is the short key. Save icon. Save option. And this is the short key of save. Control plus save. This is undo icon. And this is the short key of undo. It's redo. And this is the short key of redo. Now where is this quick access toolbar? I tell you right now. You can see it there. Up here. Okay. This is save option. You can see control plus S. This is undo option. Undo spelling. Ignore everything. Or copy typing. This is redo. It is not highlighted for the time being. Because there is no action still which we have undo. Which we need to repeat. Okay. So this way you can use all three options on the quick access toolbar. This is the look of your quick access toolbar in Word.
Now next we have copying and moving a text. This is the icon of copy and paste and cut. This one you can say scissor icon. It shows the cut command. And the short key for cut is control plus X. This option double paper picture you can see it's for copy. You can make duplicate of your work. Control plus C. This option is just showing you the paste command. Control plus V. So these all three icons we can use for cut, copy and paste. I am just going to show you the parts of the window screen. There are three parts in your book mentioned on page 68. The parts of the window screen are dialog box launcher. Now what is dialog box launcher? If you will go there, see your cursor, you can see this one. Just click over there. This is the dialog box launcher which I am telling you. It's mentioned in your book. We are not going in detail. We will learn it later. Okay. Time being, you just need to know that where is the dialog box. Cancel. So if you have this window screen in your exam or in any way for test, you just know that here you will go and click for the dialog box and write here dialog box. Next one, zoom control. Where is the zoom control? This one. This is your zoom control. Okay. Plus means increase the size of your page and minus means it will decrease. This is called zoom out and this one is called zoom in. If you will click it like that, see, click, just increasing the size of the page. And you're just clicking on this side, it is just going to decrease, fine? So this way, you can control your zoom in Windows, fine? Just clicking on the minus side, it is decreasing, and clicking on the plus side, it's increasing, this way. One more thing which is there that is ribbon display option. And what is ribbon display option? If you just move your cursor over there, here, just keep it here. It is your ribbon display option. You click, it see, disappear. Click again, it's coming back. So, you have learned here three parts of the window. Dialog box launcher, it's just there. This is dialog box launcher. Next one. We read about zoom control. Here is your zoom control. Zoom out and zoom in. Next, we learned about the ribbon display option and it is just right here. If you will just keep your arrow on that option, it will show there the name. Now I'm just going to tell you that how can you select text in Word? Selecting text. We have two ways to select the text. First one is selecting text using a mouse and the next one is selecting text using a keyboard. I missed here word using so I am just going to add the word here using like this. I am just writing it here using. Okay so we can select text in two ways, first using mouse and then using keyboard. So how we can select text using mouse? One more thing which you need to learn is that keep your cursor there, click and drag, see it is just highlighted with blue. So this way you can select your text with mouse. How? Look again. Click on the left side and drag. Don't leave your button. Click and drag. This way you can select your text. This way you can select whole line. Okay, now I'm going to tell you if you want to select a word, how can you select it? Go to the word and just double click on it. Okay, see? I just use double click on the word and the word is selected. Now, if you want to select a whole line, what do you have to do? I told you right now. What? Keep your cursor there on the left side. Click the button and drag. This way. If you want to 
just select the multiple lines same way what you have to do click don't leave the mouse okay don't leave the button actually click and just drag this way you can select whole line whole paragraph or anything else fine okay now there are few ways which you can use by using your keyboard how you can select it you can select the text using shift key and arrow keys okay just keep your cursor there press shift key and use right arrow key if you are using right arrow key it is just moving to the right side just like that okay now if you want to just select from the left side just keep your cursor there press shift key and use left side key and just move it this way you can select it with left arrow key now if you want to select the bottom side use shift key now use your bottom arrow key and click to the bottom side similarly if you want to select top portion press shift key and use like that so arrow keys with shift okay students so if you want to select your text using keyboard use arrow key with shift key fine this way you can select your text if you want to select a single line single word or whole paragraph you just keep your finger on the shift key and same way press your arrow key and your text will be selected now next one we have inserting a blank line if you want to insert a blank line in between your paragraph or text what you need to do i'm just going to show you that how you can use a blank line if you suppose want to insert the blank line over there fine just keep your cursor at the end of your line and press enter key you can see there is blank space between these two lines okay if you now i am just going to tell you that if you want to delete a text how you can do that so there are three ways by using that we can delete our text the first one using backspace key second using delete key and the third using space bar key so one by one i am going to show you that how you can delete your text suppose you want to delete this line okay so we are going to use the first option that is using backspace key just keep your cursor here at the end of your line or you can say at the right side of your line or your sentence keep it here and just press backspace key see this way whatever it is written on the left side you can remove all that text fine this way you can do it you don't want it just use undo and it is back now okay then using delete key now if you want to remove the text delete the text from the right side what you have to do keep your cursor on the left side okay keep your cursor on the left side and press delete key or del key the short form of delete see now from the right side whatever it is written it is going to be deleted like this one by one you can delete it see okay it's deleted i'm just getting back it using undo click and it is now coming back see this way you can get it back now the third option using space bar key now how can you use space bar key that is used for giving space in between the sentences or your words fine so how can we use it just to delete for that purpose see you just select it whatever you want to delete select it and press space bar it's gone so this way you can use the space bar key 
to delete your text and same way I don't want to delete it I'm using undo and just getting it back hope students you understand it do practice it at home if you have any query you can ask me you can whatsapp me or even in the zoom class I will clear it in Take care and Allah Hafiz.